we're leaving the room just had a change and i just wanted to say that i love this backlighting there doesn't heat up your room and just a nice ambiance i love this cabin i love the havana room i love the Havana experience i don't want to go in this elevator again <laughs> i'm so serious i stepped in anyway it was creaking the whole time and then it didn't creak again until it took off and I was like, oh, it wasn't me. But then I was like, or maybe it is. But because it's lifting. Wait. And then when I just got off, it was like. So the point is, that's the only one I heard doing that. And I went to the third elevator. I ain't going to ride. Not. Not. Still never been to the Red Frog Tiki Bar second layer yet. So much stuff to do. Look at the pool. I'm so refreshed from the dip. The sunset dip. We got in the five Havana. minutes. Look at this. Now look at night. This is what I was talking about earlier. Go to the pool, take advantage of the Lido deck on elegant night. Everybody is dressed up. Think about it. They're probably gonna go to the room, get undressed, shower, and go to bed. A lot of people were like, good night, good night, good night. And some people were like, good night. Party just getting started. Seaside Lido. I said seaside because it reminds me of a seaside cafe. Such a beachy vibe. And I've still yet to look at the food. And apparently we probably have two minutes now. I've been running around all day. I mean, not all day, half the day. Nobody's here because lobster in the main dining room for free. That's my food. Also, I'd like to point out that it's been a long time since I've been on a big ship like this with so much walking to go from one place to the other. Okay, we made it. Ooh, prime rib. Guess I better grab a plate. Roasted wild mushroom bisque, buttermilk, sherry, and smoked gouda. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I love buttermilk. Double cooked potato. Steamed rice and broccoli. Oh, excuse me, buttered broccoli. Some kind of sauce. It looks like hollandaise sauce or something. Striped bass, spaghetti carbonara. Okay, here's my food. I'm gonna get some of that soup. I mean, this. Oh my gosh, they have fried oysters here. And I haven't had one in a long time, and I'm gonna try one. Question mark. I'm kind of scared. Vegetable pie, herbed ricotta mousse, rosa bell peppers, stuffed chicken breast. That looks amazing. So there was a food station we just looked at. They have desserts over here. They have malted chocolate mousse. I actually would like to try that if it's malted, but honestly, not if it's warm. I don't know what that is. There's no sign, but it's cake. Chocolate chips cookies. Butter, that's a lot of butter. Fixins for your potato or whatever. And then we have the salads here. Oh, that looks good. Grilled beef and eggplant salad. I do love their Caesar salad here. I'm gonna get one soon. Today was a drinking day, not eating day. Drinking and relaxing day. Yeah. Crock pot apple pudding. This is our dinner vibes, guys. This is our seating area. It's so, so cozy. This is our table and this is the chair. And I love it because I have like a curtain and it just feels really comfy and cozy. I love it. I'm so happy. I want to play cards and stuff here. Here is the foods. Just left dinner. Just looking out here because this is closed and you can really get a good view of it. But I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with the chicken and I kind of want my big Aristotle every single day of this ship. I gotta show you guys the pool here at night. If you saw my earlier videos, you saw it during the day. If you haven't, I have a playlist of every cruise and if you click on it, you can watch them in order and they all just meld together. Easy watching. Honey, I can't see the bottom of this pool. I was just thinking that, but I think it's just the color. No. I'm hoping no. it's just the color. The ladder fades away. Or is there more than just three rungs on that ladder? No, I think there's four. Another thing I want to point out now that we're up close is this cool seating area here. Our laying, lounging area. I don't know when the pool closes though. 80s rock and glow and everybody, well, a lot of people uh, are dressed not only for the 80s, but also with the Mardi Gras flair and it's awesome. Really pretty out here too. Look at the pool. Party started! We're headed to comedy. There are both comedians. Thanks. 
do one big show in the theater. But right now I'm going to squeak my way over to the fortune teller bar and meet Crush real quick. That's one of the comedians tonight. They were there today. But tonight they're both in the main theater. And then I look to see if they're doing any of their nights. And I don't see them any of their nights, but I see new people. So I feel really lucky. I don't know if, if they're getting off and they're coming on, new people. But we get to see a lot of, maybe like four different people, which is awesome. Carnival has the best comedy, in my opinion. Um, I want to watch that more than anything. I usually go in the French Quarter there, but I'm going to walk around this way. You can walk through the middle. It goes to the right and left. The elevator banks. There's a leftover set up for photos for Elegant Night. And then if you go around this side, instead of going to the bars, they're shopping. And I haven't even looked in these stores, but of course when I do, <gasps> it's gorgeous over there. This view, something new I hadn't seen yet. Anyway, when I do, I'm gonna take you guys with me, always. There's a brass magnolia. I love the music too that they have everywhere around the ship. Okay, off to comedy. It is bedtime. And then tomorrow we will be in Cozumel Piano Bar. I can't wait to go in there too. Here it is, the Mardi Gras Theater. It's where we did our lifeboat drill. And my shoes are so squeaky. I hope it's not quiet in there. I have to walk in like this. Such a long haul too. Wow. These chairs are super comfy and this view is awesome. I love this theater. I hope I can watch an actual show in here too, like a Broadway show. Welcome everybody, round of applause. It's your first time here, first time in a comedy club, first time. Welcome to Mexico. For the first time in two years, I am back. One of my favorite places. By the way, it is day three of the cruise. We had boarding day, sea day, today is Cozumel. 10 to 6 more like 10 to 7 but i think we can get off at 10 30 and get back on at 6 30. tomorrow is costa maya mexico and the next day is roatan honduras then we have two sea days after that and we're gonna do so much exploring the first two days i would say there was a lot of new stuff there's still so much new stuff actually there's no way i've even seen half of it yet i love being able to go out of the cabin go out into the hall go out of the door Come with you at the very front of the ship. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's 8.30. So there she is, guys. Cozumel, Mexico. That's all I see so far. It's going to be a hot, sunny day. I think it's at high of 86. But you know it's going to feel hotter. It's so humid already, and there's not really any breeze. Welcome to the Caribbean. And <laughs> I forgot my sunglasses in my cabin. I'm like running towards the door. This is uh, one way, by the way. You can go in here, which is nice. You don't have to go all the way back around. You can come out here, which I wish you could. And also, watch this big old piece of metal. It's like the piece that I tripped on on that uh, Royal Caribbean ship when they saw the whale. Chris already tripped on it twice. Both times he's been through the door. So I'll show you real quick, and I'm kind of blinded. And there's our cabin down there. Here's this door. We did try scanning our card and stuff to see if we can go out there just to quickly look, you know, at the deck and just the water and stuff, but you can't. And if you want to go outside, you just go through there and there's a door to the other side. But once again, I am so glad you can come in that way. To me, that's the most important thing since my cab is on this side. I'll show you again in case you didn't see my first day video. Once again, if you didn't, you should subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video. And go to the playlist, click on this cruise or any cruise you want to watch, and they go in order from episode one to the very last episode which is just all inclusive of the entire cruise. Here's where you get outside. There's also another door over there. It's where we started a few minutes ago when we saw the mainland of Mexico over there because you know Cozumel's an island. I have to go get something to eat real quick. I have to leave the deck, it's so pretty. We're getting closer and closer, but I have to get something to eat real quick. I think I'm gonna go down to the Java Blue again because that was delicious and convenient. I want some of that protein packed granola and the coconut water and an espresso. I was gonna get one in the Panda Bar, but actually I just realized I didn't see anybody in there. Not even sure it's open. Look at this, get down on it. So much fun when we get back to the ship. Oh my God, wait, the casino! I was literally trying to fall asleep last night. It's hard, there's so much stuff and you're so worked up. And right when I was, I thought I was tired and going to sleep, I started thinking, like stuff started to pop up in my mind. Like, I haven't seen the casino. I haven't seen this. But the casino was a big one, I'm like, Where's the casino? I walked back and forth across the ship so many times. No casino, but there it is. We'll look at it later. By the way, this section here on 8 mid called Grand Central, they do have six zones, which really, truly, not that they just say it does, it really truly does divide the people out and never notice shiny crowds. Espresso? Oh my God, look. First, look 
look at the still water. Second, look at the ship. It's so sunny and all my sunglasses, I can't actually see what the ship is. But we're here and we're docking and we're turning. I'm suffering and this is super painful because it's so sunny and I forgot my glasses. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Because it's gorgeous again. I'm trying to take pictures, but it actually hurts. I can't open my eyes. But there she is. I love you, Cozumel. I love you, Mexico. I'm so glad to see you. Tend to go put my tank top on, but I want to burn my shoulders because it is it's not that hot, but okay. And I'm not complaining, I'm saying it's uh that was actually painful. But I'm so excited it's part of being in the Caribbean. I just gotta get used to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat now because I still haven't eaten. One of these elevator adventures. So this lady up there was waiting for an elevator for a long time. She said, go up. I told you, you might want to go down and up. But an elevator opened and there was like five people on it, but a couple of people was kids. And the lady walked towards the elevator to get on. And then the, the lady in front of the door didn't move, even though there was tons of space in there. And she goes, there's no room, find another one. And the lady was just like, mm. and the elevator closed and I was like, so we got another elevator and someone else said that someone else just did the same thing to them in, on their elevator. It's like, what the heck? Now, now that I said that, I'm not being negative. Obviously, I was just relating my experience, which was actually very interesting. So I would like you guys to tell me your elevator experiences in the comments, because I know it's going to be interesting. So here's a line, dang it, but oh well. Actually, I don't even need to wait in line. What am I doing? I'm going to the grab and go. Excuse me? Sorry, excuse me. I just want granola. My protein granola. It's all I want. He's made the announcement that we can get off the ship right now. I'm letting the crowds go. I'm gonna give it probably about 30 minutes. But he's also announcing shore excursions up. Which you can book on your carnival lap, by the way. Before I go sunblock off, I gotta go see. Close the mouth close again one time. Okay, I can see it now. It's the grandeur of the seas. And, ooh, Margaritaville, Cozumel. All right, headed back to the cabin to sunblock. It's probably about 15 after 10. Like I said earlier, I'm letting the, the wave of crowds get off. If you have time and you don't have an excursion and you have time to do that, I suggest it at any port pretty much. We didn't book an excursion because I just wanted to go downtown. I want to shop, eat, I want to go to the cemeteries, I want to soak up. Being in Mexico, the culture, everything. I love it and that's what I'm doing today. And actually, Chris is coming and Tammy and Fabian and their family's coming, so it's gonna be fun. Here's the Havana bar. I've just been walking from right there. I'm gonna run in here if it's open and grab a water so I can stick it in my backpack and take it ashore. I don't think it's open. But if you guys, um, whether you have the drink package or not, you might wanna, no, if you don't, if you don't have the drink package, you could buy water and take it with you, but you could also buy them cheap out there at certain places. But if you have a drink package and you have water and stuff, take one with you, but it's supposed to be unopened, by the way, when you take it off the ship. This is the um, Havana on the starboard side. This is ours over here, the even port. And I love, I love this special quiet area of the ship. I think I'm, I'm I wanna get uh, Havana when I come, but I love, I didn't get to tell you guys, this is the most festive ship, okay? Besides Disney. I swear, I've never seen people this festive and this fun with decorating, dressing up. Every day, just beads, New Orleans, Mardi Gras, it's fun. And here she is. You decent? <laughs>